If you're tired of the same old chicken for dinner, Lynn Tolley's recipe is changing things up. We're going to see how a new sauce with a little of Lynchburg's hometown product takes our chicken to the next level. This it's, is going to be fun, huh? It's really good. Now, let me tell you what I did ahead of time. Okay. So I took our skillet, I put butter and oil in there, then I took our chicken breast, salt and pepper, both sides, and browned both sides. Okay. So that's how we've gotten to this point. Okay. Then we're getting ready to, let's do our dramatic part first thing. All right. So I'm going to pour in about a fourth a cup of whiskey and it's going to sizzle up. And we're going to ignite it. I always have trouble with those things. Ooh. Wow. There. Nice. Beautiful. Well, you and could you roast marshmallows say, over that. <laughs> you just shake it around until what's happening is the alcohol is being burned off, which will give it a whole different flavor. If you don't burn it off, it's yeah. a different flavor than if you do. And that so burns for a good long time, yeah, so you need to be a little careful will. with that. Yeah, it will. So let's put the flame out there. Cool. All right, now we're going to put in shallots. So you need to put your shallots in now because uh, they will soften up a little bit in this oil. And if you so didn't have gonna, shallots, you could use an onion. An onion yeah. yeah, but I really like the taste yeah. of the shallots. Okay, so after that softened up, then we're going to put in a fourth a cup of chicken broth. We're going to put in some parsley, chopped parsley, and fresh thyme. Mm. And I think this is one of the secrets in addition to the whiskey is the fresh thyme. Stir that around, if you will, will, just a minute. And we're going to lower our heat, put the lid on it, and let it cook for about 25 minutes. Okay. So what we're doing is cooking the chicken through and through. Okay. Which I have done ahead of time. Thank you. So <laughs> for the purposes gonna, of television. Now we're going to take our breasts out, and we're going to make our sauce. So they would just be in the way. Now, if you'll stir that together. We're going to add a cup of heavy cream. Why not? Why not, right? Why not? <laughs> And then to make sure it thickens, I'm going to put in a little cornstarch that I've mixed with water. And that will assure us that it's going to thicken up. And really, it doesn't take long. It might take, you know, three or four minutes. And you're going to have a lovely thick cream sauce. Put your breasts back in there just to make sure they're nice and warm. Mm -hmm. And serve it. Nice. Man, that was easy. Yeah. Huh? And you could even do this, Meryl, with shrimp. So if you want to saute really? shrimp and do the same exact recipes, just don't cook them too long. Yeah. Saute them, take them out, make your cream sauce, put them back in there. Lovely over rice. Same spices with the shrimp? Yeah. Okay. Exactly, exactly. Well, that's, that's interesting, too. And I want to tell you a little bit about Miss Mary Bubba's. You know, people always used to think, oh, it's so hard to get in there and right. I can't ever go. They have added many, many more seatings. So come see us, call even the day of, because now we're having extra seatings and oh, it's good. much easier to get in. Uh, makes a day in Lynchburg complete when and you come to visit the distillery. Yeah, for folks who have not ever been to Miss Mary Bobo's, I mean, it's so fun. It Family is. style, pass the food around. It's good old Southern cooking. And a beautiful historic home. And we have a Lynchburg hostess at each table to answer questions. And you're eating with people from all over the country. And they are asking some crazy questions <laughs> that are a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. Is One it, lady came and she looked at the table full of food, and it, it's full of food, as we were sitting down, and she looked over at a hostess and said, I don't recognize a thing but the lemons. Oh, my. So, <laughs> Where was she from? <laughs> well, she didn't know okra. She yeah. didn't really know cut up chicken, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> that's okay. I'm sure she loved the meal afterwards. <laughs> and I think we're going to love this meal, too. Thank you so much, Lynn. You're welcome. We appreciate it. You can find this in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com.